shit. What was uh, Dizzy? You toured with Tech Nine uh, a couple years ago. I did. I did. And uh, that's its own kind of world, right? The strange, <laughs> yeah, the strange yeah. music thing, and then yeah. also just touring there, like with them. Like the rules are crazy. Like the bus rules and. They be fine and motherfucker like Travis don't play. Oh yeah. Um, <laughs> like I know a lot of people who have either just quit those tours or gotten kicked off the tours. And yeah. Um, how, how how was that experience touring with Tech Nine and and just getting getting into that world and then also kind of just dealing with all the strange music shit, man. It was like inspiring, but it was also extremely tough. You know, you can't smoke on the bus, right? Yeah, you can't smoke. The smoking on the bus isn't what bothered me. Uh, I think it's the going to venues that I went to by myself that, you know, they have they have rooms for me to smoke in. You know, they got ducked off areas for me to be. You know, they know. They like Dizzy coming. We got to make sure that we got a fan upstairs mm-hmm. and we open the windows and let them be, you know, upstairs and away from everybody. And, like, you know, some of those places we were coming to that had, like, those setups for me, uh, Strange Music was shutting it down. And that shit was eating at my spirit a little bit because, you know, I I thrive off not having no weed problems. I know I talk a lot about weed and shit, right. but I, it's not cool to get in trouble for this shit. Oh, you hell know, no. you got to be smart. You got to move smart. And I... I you know, I dropped the album, my first album on 420 in 2012, and I ain't never had a problem, never had a run-in with the police about weed, not once. You know, in my whole career, we're not going to what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cause Cause I ain't, I'm not bragging or like showing off. Right. I'm just just trying to make it uh, apparent, like on how serious it is. You know, and especially and like, in some of those random markets you be yeah, in, and what yeah. I install in my team, you know, because it's not just me. Like I ain't never had nobody on the road with me get into no weed trouble. You know, like personally, somebody that I brought. Nah, nigga, we all on the same page. You know, what I'm saying for years. So being on the road with Strange Music and having doing this for so long and always finding a way to stay out of the way, I felt like they kind of. You know, they don't want you smoking in the venue. They don't want you smoking backstage. They don't want you smoking on the bus. They don't want you smoking in the hotel. So it's like, where do you want me to smoke? You want me to go outside in front of... And then you might get in trouble. The fans, in front of the people, in front of businesses. It felt more like I was being put in danger, kind of, like, instead of being ducked off normally. You know, and I had, I, I called Travis and trip with him about this shit because I'm like, man, Travis, I'm feeling like you don't... You, you niggas putting us in like dangerous situations. He just like, you know the rules. <laughs> it's just like, yo. Was that I, the toughest tour to be on? Oh, very, it, very much so. Um, very much so. Uh, I was inspired by tech, you know, and just what he was able to build. You know, I'm just so inspired by, you know, him and what he was able to do and how he's able to get up there and the show he's able to put on and the do choreography. The meet and greet every single city. Yeah, yeah man. It's, yeah. He, he's really inspiring and he don't complain. He he loves what he do. He like, it's, it's not like, you know, he's not depressed. He's not, you know, complaining. He's not drunk, wilding out. He's just tech, you know? He's working out. He's fucking... But, you know, shit, I feel the same way. I feel like I'm I'm an easy person to work with. You know, I just need to be able to, you know, do my little smoke thing when I need to do my little smoke thing. And, you know, maybe not blow it down on the bus where it might bring some extra attention to other people. But, you know, when you're at these shows, you definitely want to be comfortable, especially before you get on stage. Exactly. So it was inspiring, but it was also extremely tough for me. I can imagine. Um, hey, bro, that, honestly, that's the thing that's like, we live in we live in LA and Vegas. And People shit forget where, where like, it's legal, like and everywhere. you know what I'm saying. And like when we traveling and shit like that, and you get some places and and you see how that actual state really frowns on this shit. And then imagine not being able to smoke in the venue where you're tucked away. Like anything could happen to you out there on the streets if if you're in one of those states. And it's a shame because six hours away, you you're good. Six hours away, you good. And then six hours here, you you like oh. 
you know, so much is on the line. And so I'm like, they don't even allow smoking outside in some of the places where they kind of wanted us to just kind of smoke outside. Yeah. You know, it's not my thing. You know, I, I, I try to do well with kind of staying ducked off and out the way. You know what I'm saying? I don't need to be blowing it down all in everybody's face and things like that, you know. So, but you know, at the end of the day, uh, strange music runs their shit the way they want to run their shit. And it works, and they've been successful, and they run it that way so they can keep law and order and what they got going. And you got to respect that if you want to be a part of that. I went to be a part of their shit. It was they. I mean, you signed up for it, you know. I signed up for. Now, don't get me wrong. I was told that I could do my smoke thing. Ah. Now, now I, I I agreed to not smoke on the bus. You know, the I don't know if different. I would have. I don't know if I would have signed up to not for it to be for me to be me and my team to be put in those kind of situations. Cause you know, nigga, it was raining and snowing and like, you all want me type smoke? of shit. And they're like, yo, I'ma get fined if I smoke in the spot that they that the did venue you, did says. Did you resort to edibles? I didn't. I didn't. Cause on then the, you might not be able to perform. Right. Right. So <laughs> edibles is a like a it's dangerous. I'm a I like edibles when I'm getting ready to go to sleep, yep. you know? So when I'm operating not during perform. the day, you know, I just need to puff it down a little bit. I was just kind of like stressed out more than I'm normally stressed out on the road, you know what I'm saying? So other than that, it was all love.